Hello video editors and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create smooth rolling end credits in Premiere Pro. And I will also show you how to save this as a motion graphic template so that you can use them in future projects. So let's begin. Inside Premiere Pro, I'm going to start by creating a new sequence. So I'm going to select this icon over here, new item, and select sequence. For the smoothest rolling effect, I would highly recommend using the same settings for the sequence as the sequence from the movie you want to add these end credits on. So for this example, I'm going to use ARRI 1080p25 and hit OK. Next, let's select the type tool here or you can hit T on your keyboard to select it. Then I can just hit somewhere on my keyboard to start typing. In this case, I'll type best movie ever. Next thing I'll do is to hit my selection tool over here and move over to my essential graphics under text, I'm going to search for the Roboto font and select Roboto Black. And now we can align this our text in the project monitor by waiting for a red line to make it snap at the center over here. And if you don't see this red line, you can select this settings icon and scroll down to this snap in program monitor and select it. In the next step, I'm going to select this text and duplicate it by hitting Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it. And you can see over here that we have two copies of the same text. I'll select the one on top and drag it down and then I'll resize it. And then I'll double click the text and change it to something like directed by. Okay, I'll select it and then I'll change the font style to Roboto Light. Let me increase the scale a little bit. Then I'll align this by snapping it with the red line and that we have snapped it at the center. And now I'm going to copy this text once more by hitting Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste it. And I'll drag one lower. I've already created a list of random names. I'll just copy a random name here and paste it on my text. Come back to my text here, double click it and hit Ctrl V to paste my random name. And now I can select this and increase the font size and change the font style to bold and again I'll center align it with a red line and now we've added three lines of text as you can see in the essential graphics panel over here and these layers are all inside a single essential graphics item as you can see on the timeline over here and that's important to understand because the role effect will be added to this essential graphics item which basically is a collection of all the layers inside and let me show you what I mean for example, if I deselect the text layers by clicking in the blank space below, we are in fact selecting the entire essential graphics item over here. And now we have the option to enable role and enabling this option give us a scroll bar here at the side of the program monitor. And if you like, you can also set time for pre-roll, post-roll, is in and is out. For now, it's important to understand that enabling the role feature here will automatically add a role to all the features that are included in your essential graphics item. So let's do a quick playback so you can see. And now the speed of the role is dependent on the content and the length of the graphic item on your timeline. Which means that if I go longer, the role will go slower And if I go shorter, the role will go faster. Okay, so now you've seen the basics. In the next steps, I'm going to show you how to add more text with different formatting. And I'm going to show you how to add images. And I'm going to show you how to make the role a bit smoother. So now I'm going to begin by adding some more text with different formatting. And to do this, you need to move to the point where you want to add the text. Or else the screen will jump up and down while editing the text. So you need to select this portion over here where you want to add your new text and select the text above and hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste and drop it one track below. So I'll move over to my names over here and copy them. Double click this name here and hit Ctrl V to paste them. Alright, so next I'm going to write align this text by hitting this icon here. And I'm going to select my selection tool and drag this to the center. Now I'm going to scale this text down a little bit. And align it make sure it's aligned to the center properly now I'm going to hit ctrl C and ctrl V to copy and paste this once more select this and drag this to the other portion here and now I'm going to hit the left align and drag this to the center and as you can see the text are both connected to each other so in this case I'm going to move to my anchor point here and set this to minus 25 and select this other text over here and set my anchor point to 25. I'll also change my font style to light. 
and as you can see here, we have created space between both text. So this part also needs a title, so I'm going to select this text over here and hit Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it. And drag this text down over here. Now I'll double click it to change the name to probably something like Actors, center align it. Let me resize this and change this font to bold. Okay, and that's done. And as you can see, you can add an endless amount of text layers and apply the roll effect to all the layers inside. And this is not limited to text only. You can also add images. You can do this by coming over to this new layer, select new item from file. And you can just select where you have your item that you want to bring in. I'm just going to select this logo over here and hit open. So right now this logo seems to be very big. What I'm going to do is to resize it. So I'm going to select it over here and reduce its scale. Now I'm going to take it down to the point where I want it to be, which is over here. So I'll reduce it and then you can see that as I'm reducing it, the other texts are also taking formation with it. And if I move over to the beginning and hit play, you would see that they are all playing together. Now in the final stage of this tutorial, we are going to make the roll animation a bit smoother. The first thing you can do is to select all the text from here and scroll down and reduce its contrast. So I'm going to change the white from being all white to be a little bit gray and hit OK. The second solution to reduce any form of flickering is to lower the speed of the roll animation and like I said earlier, you can do this by increasing the length of these graphics over here. And the final and best solution that I've found so far is to add the reduce interface flicker effect. So move over to your effects panel and search for the reduce interlace flicker and drag this onto your graphics item over here. And inside your effects control, you can set the softness to somewhere between 1 to 4. I'm going to set this at 4. And you can see the red lines over here, so you are going to have to render this before you play this. But before we do that, I will also show you how to save this as a motion graphic template and use it in other projects. And that's very simple. All you need to do is to select this item over here, right click, and select export as motion graphics template. So you can select where you want to save it to. So I just selected local template folder and hit OK. And if we go over to browse in our essential graphics panel, you will find our end credit that we have created over here. And you can easily drag this into Premiere Pro and edit it. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.